Congratulations on passing the red stage. By now, your cat should be doing the following. Going into the room where the toilet is to do his business and hopping up onto the toilet to use the litter quitter. During the amber stage of the litter quitter training, your cat will learn to modify two more important behaviours. Firstly, he or she will learn to position over a hole through to the toilet pan and water below. And secondly, they'll learn to position their paws on the rim of the litter quitter to gain balance. Many people think that cats bury their waste because they're naturally clean animals. And in a sense, this is true. But what they're actually doing when they bury their waste is burying the smell of their waste, so as not to attract predators. In the wild, it's often the case that cats will not bury their waste and in fact use the smell to repel other cats. In other words, to mark their territory. Within our homes, most of our pet cats choose to bury their waste. The key idea behind the Litter Quitter Cat Toilet Training System is to give your cat the same satisfaction of hiding the smell of his waste, but without needing to bury it in the litter tray. When your cat goes into the toilet, the smell disappears into the water in the pan. Therefore, your cat will experience the same sense of discretion and will be satisfied. Remove the red training disc, replace it with the amber training disc and fill with three or so cups of litter. Put the litter around the outside of the amber disc to cover the outer ridge. The inner ridge will help stop litter falling into the toilet pan. Show your cat the amber training disc and put him or her on it like you did on the red training disc. Show them the hole and place them on the tray so that their front paws are on the seat area and their back paws are either side of the hole. They'll naturally be curious about the hole and will probably spend a while peering through it to see what's below. This will help them understand that there's water below and should encourage them to aim for the hole. Cats and water usually don't mix well. Cats are a bit hydrophobic, which means that they don't like to get wet. The toilet, and especially the crashing sound of the toilet flushing, could frighten your cat and make training him much harder. If he can experience the sounds and sensations of the toilet whilst in a safe environment, in other words, with you there to make him feel safe, then he's much more likely to become comfortable with it. At first it will be hit and miss. Sometimes they'll go through the hole, sometimes they won't. There's likely to be more success urinating through the hole than defecating. Don't worry about this. The main lesson at this stage is correct positioning and orientation towards the seat area of the litter and the toilet. Spend a little more time at this stage until he or she is really comfortable with the hole and learns to correctly position with the front paws on the seat area. When he or she squats to go to the toilet, the back paws will automatically move toward the front paws and thus they'll learn the key skills that will enable them to balance entirely on the toilet seat later on. You may find at times during this stage that your cat rebels. This can be anything from withholding going to the toilet to doing their business somewhere else in the house. This can mean that you're going too fast. There are a few things you can do to help get past these humps in the training. Firstly, never punish your cat if he goes elsewhere in the house. He won't link the punishment to the crime, in spite of what most of us think. You'll make him anxious and he'll probably begin to avoid you altogether. Instead, reward him when he does something right. Some cats enjoy a special treat as a reward, but most enjoy a few simple encouraging words like good boy, good girl, or well done, or a gentle pat. Once he or she regularly places both front paws and at least one of their rear paws on the seat and squats approximately over the hole, then this is your cue to move on to the green stage. Make sure they've been doing this confidently for a couple of weeks before moving on. If you rush before they're ready, this will make the next stage more difficult. Okay.